All right, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys everything that I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we're gonna be going over the nutrients of each one of those meals at the end of each meal. And then at the end of the day, we're gonna go over the nutrition from the whole day and make sure that I'm getting everything that I need on this whole foods, plant-based, vegan diet. So I'm starting the morning off with just a little bit of movement, just some light stretching, moving my body around and also some lemon water. Lemon water is really great at helping to hydrate your body as it's full of natural electrolytes, give you a good blast of vitamin C in the morning, and it just tastes great and makes you feel good. So right after that, I head off to the gym. You guys know I like to work out in a fasted state, so I always try and work out in the morning. So here I am just working out on these Liebert dip bars. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually doing a giveaway with Liebert right now on my Instagram page. So go follow me over there, look for that post, which is maybe one or two posts ago, and look at the contest details and uh, post down below, and you guys might be able to win those. So just a nice, easy workout. Did a little bit of a variety today, and here I am working on my ankle. My left ankle is so bad, I rolled it skateboarding, so I'm trying to rehabilitate it a little bit and just move it around. Uh, so I'm not trying to stay totally balanced on these things, I'm actually trying to challenge it and move it around and make it more difficult for that ankle. So you guys might have noticed, but my gym is dark. There are no lights on. It's because we lost power. So we had a windstorm and it knocked some of the power out in the neighborhood. And of course, when I got home, no power at home. So no smoothie, no smoothie bowl. So I'm like, what the heck am I going to make? We didn't even have any ripe bananas. So I thought, all right, I'll soak some buckwheat. We still had some hot water and then chop up some fruit. Figured I could make a fruit bowl and have some buckwheat with it. So here I am chopping up a couple oranges, a couple apples. And if you guys wanna see the exact amounts of all this stuff, it'll be in the analysis at the end. So I've got a couple medjool dates there that I chopped up and put into the fruit bowl. And now that I've drained the water out of the buckwheat, I chopped up one date really fine, put it into the buckwheat, We've got a cup, or half a cup of almond milk, I think that was. And then we've got some Vivo Life protein powder. You guys know I work with those guys. Derek 10, if you want to try it for 10% off, that salted maca caramel is just so good. So I mixed it up here with a frozen banana. Banana looked kind of sketchy, but it's still good. And then I'm going to pour that around my fruit bowl. Add a bit of hemp seeds on the top had some cinnamon and there we go we have it so I figured I'd sit down check my email no can't do that powers out what the heck so I'm just gonna enjoy this big bowl of buckwheat and fruit and it actually was so so delicious so good that I actually had to get crystal in to try it you know she'd sniff it out anyways but uh, yeah she liked it crystal approved so now let's check out the nutrients that I got from that meal. So almost a thousand calories, that's generally what I get after my workouts, whether I make a smoothie bowl. So yeah, I was right on point there. And then you can see here the breakdown, it's almost 80% carbs, really low fat, 6% fat, 15% protein. Don't worry, I'll make that fat up in the rest of the day. But yeah, you can just see full of nutrients, tons of B vitamins, all my RDI of vitamin C right there, some good omega-3 fatty acids, lots of minerals, and then boom, protein just almost met my RDI for the whole day there, but you know I'm gonna get more than that 56 grams. So here we are moving on to lunch. We've got the power back on now, so I'm gonna make some cooked food, and I'm just smushing a bunch of kale there into a one cup measuring device. <laughs> so I smushed it in there really good to make sure that does equal one cup. And then I've got some tempeh there. Tempeh is a fermented soy product, if you guys didn't know. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but you can make it taste good with some sauces. So chop that up. Chop up some red and yellow pepper. And then I'm gonna fire that into a preheated frying pan. And then you guys will see here how I cook without oil. Just add a little bit of water 
and put a little lid on that and it kind of acts as a steamer. And here I'm gonna make some sauce. So this is a really simple one. I'm just gonna use some hot water there, a little bit of green curry paste, some sesame tahini. Mix that around a little bit. And then just a bit of maple syrup for sweetness. Mix that all around and add the greens to the stir fry. I don't like to add those very early on because I like them just to cook really, really gently just at the last few minutes. And then I add that sauce, mix it all around. And I actually added one more cup of kale since it wilted down so much. And now I'm just gonna fire it into a bowl. If you guys have a cast iron skillet, you know how heavy these things are. I'm like breaking my wrist right now getting all that in there. It's almost a two person job. But that's why I work out. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You guys know that. So there's lunch. I'm just gonna chop up an avocado. Put it on the top. Man, I love avocado. Mash that around in there. And then of course, the twin pillars to any good vegan diet, some nutritional yeast and some hot sauce. Mix that up. And yeah, nice little lunch there. This was actually so good. I'll definitely be making this again. And then you know Crystal, she had to try it out. And of course, she liked it because I'm an awesome cook. She wanted her own, but nope, none for you, Crystal. This is why these days are hard because I can't really share food with her. I have to just make food just for myself. So she doesn't like these kind of days. But there it is if you guys want to see everything I ate there. 570 calories, so a little bit lighter for lunch. And then you can see the macros are a bit more even here on this one. 33% carbs, 43% fat. 23% protein, but still chock full of vitamins and just really, really healthy. Gotta love the whole foods. Again, lots of minerals there. Lots of calcium from that. You can see that 30% of that RDI just in that meal alone. And then protein, yeah. Not hard to get on a vegan diet, guys. You know that by now. So here, just after lunch, I'm having some dulse and some Brazil nuts. This is a good time to get that in. A little selenium, a little iodine in the day. The dulse is okay. That's why I made that face. So here we are, dinner already. And I just chopped up some onion, mandolin, some Brussels sprouts, which is a really good way to cook it. Then we have some white beans there. You can see I was showing you there, it doesn't have any salt added, it's just straight white beans. A cup of corn, a cup of green peas, and then everything into the frying pan, except for the green peas. And then we're gonna make a sauce here. This is a really simple go-to sauce, very similar to the one that I have in my ebook that is in the link down below if you guys wanna buy it. It's a red pepper sauce. You can find the ingredients, the exact amounts to all this stuff in the chronometer at the end. So I just put all that into the blender, a little bit of water, blend that all up. And it's nice and thick, delicious. So here I added a bit of cilantro to that as well as some green peas and some spinach. Crystal was making her own dinner, so I went and stole some yams from her, chopped those up, some purple and uh, Japanese yams. So I just measured those out and that's a cup. And again, can't go wrong with a little nutritional yeast on there. Mix all that together. Another cup of raw greens on the bottom. Stir fry on the top. And then the sauce. Sauce is the key guys. You guys have to learn how to make good sauces if you want to enjoy this vegan lifestyle and eat it healthy. There's lots of health, there's lots of vegan sauces out there, but not many of them are, are all that healthy. They're all just sugar and oil and salt. So you can make your own. So here we have it. That's everything that I ate. There's the sauce if you guys wanna pause it and write down everything that was in there so you can make your own. It's a really good sauce. So the macros of that, 70% carbs, 15% fat, 13% protein, 
almost a thousand calories there in that dinner. And you can see just chock full of B vitamins, more than the RDI of vitamin A in that meal alone, vitamin C. And then you can see that the omega-3 to 6 ratio is almost even in that meal, which is just awesome. That's thanks to the flax seeds. So many minerals in that meal. Wow. And then, yeah, the protein was nice and high. So now we're going to analyze the full day and go over that. So here's the whole day written out. If you guys want to pause it and write any of this down, you can eat just like me. And there I added uh, some vitamin D at the bottom because I do take that and then also my exercise, 60 minutes of calisthenics. So you can see what I got in the day, 2,500 calories. This is probably a slightly larger eating day than, um, than some other days. So it's usually between 2,200 and 2,500 calories. That's pretty normal for me. I'm 145 pounds, keep in mind, so I'm not a huge guy. Um, but I am eating in a slight surplus, so I'm trying to get bigger. <laughs> And uh, there's the macro breakdown, 65% carbs, 18% fat, 16% protein. I think that's a pretty good mix. And then you can see I've just smashed all of the RDIs there. Almost a thousand percent of my RDI of vitamin C, 2400 of vitamin A. Unbelievable. So there we have it. You can see 2500 calories. Oh, I stopped writing my water down partway through the day. I don't really care. I drink lots. 400 plus grams of carbs. Carbs do not make you fat, people. But processed, refined oils, sugars, and overeating processed foods, that will make you fat. So 100 grams of fiber, and then you can see all the B vitamins just smash the RDIs. Vitamin A, C, D, E, and K also well over 100% of the RDI. Vitamin E is sometimes a tough one to get, so... Fortified almond milk will have it in there. Broccoli has lots of vitamin E. Same with avocado and sweet potato. So there we go. Moving on down, let's look at fat now. So 55 grams of fat. I think that's a pretty good number. And then you can see the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 is pretty good. You want to stay at about a 3 to 1 ratio there. So let's talk a little bit about um, ALA, the parent omega-3 molecule converting and elongating into EPA and DHA. So I did a bit of research and it appears that EPA and DHA conversions from ALA is quite variable. So EPA seems to convert at between 8 and 20 percent and DHA at between 0.5 and 9 percent. So some of the factors you can read them here, but uh, it includes, you know, being female makes you better at doing it. Keeping your intake of omega-6 low, the ratio of 6 to 3 fairly even seems to make you better at converting it. Uh, intake of uh, B vitamins 3 and 6, also zinc and magnesium are important for helping that conversion. Keeping your trans fat uh, intake low, alcohol intake low, your intake of cholesterol and saturated fat low also helps. And if you're a smoker, your conversion is worse. And if you have a condition like diabetes, that also makes you worse at that conversion. So you might want to consider supplementing. But I figured I would be somewhere in the middle of that range since I you know, tick a lot of those boxes that make my conversion better. So my total ALA is 4,900 milligrams for the day. That's the amount of omega-3s that I was getting. So 14% of 4,900 is 686 milligrams of EPA and 4% of 4,900 is 195 milligrams of DHA. So what does that look like against the recommended daily intakes? Well, it's hard to find an RDI of EPA and DHA. But most sources say that they want you to get somewhere between 300 and 1,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA throughout the day. And my total, you can see there, is 881 milligrams. So I feel like that is right on par, as long as those are my conversion rates. However, you really don't know. So if you are in one of those high-risk groups, you might want to supplement with a DHA EPA supplement, which you can find easily. They make them out of algae oil these days, so you can find a plant-based one. So there we have saturated fat. This actually surprised me that I had some saturated fat in my diet, but coming from tempeh, avocado, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, that did kind of surprise me there. You can see the minerals all well over 100%. Calcium, I just smoked that with 1,300 milligrams of calcium. Unbelievable. And yeah, iron, I have 300, 300% 300 of the recommended daily intake of iron. It's pretty dang good. And even zinc, zinc's often a tough one to get. 
So you can see there my, some of my sources of zinc. But uh, apparently it's not that hard to get because I sure got enough that day. And then protein. Everyone's worried about protein. Well, look at that. I got almost 120 grams of protein that day. And you say, yeah, but you took a protein supplement. All right. Well, even if we take that away, I'd still get around 100 grams of protein. And it wasn't even like I was eating anything really crazy to get that. And I didn't eat a super huge amount of tofu or tempeh or anything. I did have some, so that helped. Leucine there, that's one that people often worry about getting. It's one of the branched chain amino acids that helps with protein synthesis. And you can see there I got almost 9 grams in the day. So there's some of the sources that I got it from. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this. I don't really like tracking my food, but to help you guys out, I don't mind. And it was really interesting to see how much I was eating and all the nutrients that I was getting. And this further confirms that this is the healthiest way that we could be eating. So here are some other videos I'd love for you guys to watch. And definitely like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys can see more content from me. Hit that bell so you get notified that I do put up some new content. And um, comment down below, like I said before, I really, really love reading your comments. So thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to eat healthy, move that body of yours.